Uh, it's Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time to search it. Yes, it is. We're here at Ledge Point, ready to start the Ledge to Lansing race. So actually, I was lying. It's actually Saturday, um, but we got to do it early. Otherwise, I'm not going to get this episode out. Episode 27, and we are on. Uh, I might give you an update of this race right at the end, uh, but we're going to kick off with some jibing. Yes, jibing. These are the boys from Guadeloupe. Give it the big one. Give it some monkey jibes. I think there's uh, a few backwind jibes. And then we've got Eric doing the Superman jibe. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is a peach, Eric. Loving your style, mate. Lice extension on the body. Uh, we're giving it 9.6 points. Uh, great effort. Uh, so jibing obviously can be fun. You can send it jibing. Um, it also can be dangerous. Just check this. This is North France on the lake. I think Bryce and Nico. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, Bryce is the one jibing. Nico decides he's just going to come into the beach. There's no one around. And Joel, oh, that looks bloody painful. Just check the impact. Oh, mate, that has got to hurt. In fact, um, looking at this picture, I think it did hurt. Oh, that is one swollen ankle. Boys, keep the eyes open. Keep the eyes open. Um, so going from uh, Bryce to Nico to another Nico. And this Nico is in Morocco. And he has been proper sending it. Um, and until now, I thought this first move was only ever going to be able to do on by kite surfers. Yes. Have you ever heard or seen the dead man? Yeah, they go upside down, take the hands off, lay it out. How can a windsurfer do that move? Well, <laughs> Nico has proved it can be done. Check it out. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I mean, obviously he doesn't sail away from it, but could that happen? Check it again. Is it possible? Surely, surely, Nico, I want to see that made. Or oh, anyone out there, can you make the dead man on a windsurfer? But that is a classic uh, freeze frame right there. Uh, Nico was also uh, doing a bit of sail eating. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. I don't think we can say that on windsurfing TV, uh, but we just did. But just listen to the voice of the camera. Oh, putain. <laughs> oh, putain. It sounds so like, oh, putain, he's done it again. Oh, no. So <laughs> I reckon Nico wasn't having a great day, or maybe he was having a great send it day, but he was definitely sending it. So big up. Uh, to Nico over there in Morocco. Uh, he also sent us this next shot, which uh, leads us nicely into picture of the week. Yes, and he sent us this beauty, the no-footed loop. Yeah, that is, that is a beauty. That's obviously a forward no-footed loop. I'm not sure he landed it, but great extension. Actually, when I first saw the picture, I thought there was seaweed coming off his head, but then I realised I think it's a sticker at the end. Uh, so great. We're going to carry on the theme in picture of the week uh, with the no-footed loop, and we're moving over to Canada. Yeah, Canada. And we've got Dave. And Dave is doing the Cossack loop. I do not know how his feet got up there. I haven't got no clue. I think it's a backlid. There was, a, I think maybe there was a few shots in this sequence, but the last shot I just think is epic. That is just a great position, a great position. And guess what? Yes, we've got more no-footed loops. Uh, this time, this is from Christian. He actually sent that clip in last week of him duck diving the wave. Uh, he did tell me, didn't break a mast. It was all good. Uh, it did break two two days later, but <laughs> he didn't break it on that duck dive. So that was good to know. And Christian has got this effort. Yes, looks like he's giving birth or something. He is definitely going to split the kipper if he lands like that. That is looking pretty precarious for the family jewels right there. OK, and we're going to go into the last picture of the week. And this is windsurfer versus surfer. This is just a classic shot. Look 
at the facial expression on that surfer. <laughs> That's like a, oh my God. Uh, I have it on good authority uh, that the surfer dropped in on the windsurfer. He was already lined up the aerial. Decided to aerial off the back uh, just to give him a little bit of a scare. Uh, and I definitely think it did the job, that is for sure. And that was uh, Martin uh, from Austria. And he is, in fact, a plastic surgeon. So if it had gone wrong, he might have been able to fix him up. But that's a, that's a beauty right there. That is an absolute beauty. The only way that could, shot could have got better is if it had been a kite surfer, wouldn't it? That would have been the best. That would have been the best. Uh, OK, so talking about plastic surgeons, this next guy... He might need one at some point because he is Captain Crash. He is the sender of all senders. Uh, he's a semi-pro sailor. Used to be on the PBA Tour. Yarden Mir, aka Yardy. And if you haven't seen his video he dropped this week, it's on windsurfing.tv. Check it out. There is some monster crashes in that. We're going to feature a few here. He's got the, uh, the single forward to bail out. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that is just a crazy double attempt when he lets go in that second one. Looks out of control. Uh, he's also got uh, the move where he breaks his toes. Yeah, check this, check this, check the foot in the strap. Oh, man, apparently he broke a couple of his fingers, he says, but I'm pretty sure he meant toes. You can see that foot just getting stuck in and kick, kick, kick. Yeah, so uh, the toe breaker, as it's known. He's also got the comedy wipeout with a little tweak there to face slide down the sail. Yes, Yard and Mir sends it. You should follow him on Instagram or something like that. Maybe I'll put the link up if I can find it. Uh, so, yeah, again, everyone, thanks so much for sending all your footage in. Uh, it's always well received. I've got a backlog of so many. But don't worry, I will try and figure a way of using them. So don't not, not send them in. Send them in. Send it at windsurfing.tv. Uh, there's always coming in every week. Uh, big thanks to our sponsors, themailingroom.com. And we're going to finish up with this. Yes, this is Skrrr. Yeah, Limbo Windsurfing. I was enjoying it last week thinking, yeah, it'd be a new thing. He's been doing it for years. Check this, 2.4 metres on the bridge. Got some beautiful angles coming under this bridge. He's got it covered from every way. He's also told me he's found a two metre bridge. He's going low. Oh, low, can you go? How oh, low can you go? Yes, how low can you go? Coming to windsurfing.tv very soon. Skur setting the bar, the world record officially, not really, is 2.4 metres. Can you go lower than that? We'll soon find out. Uh, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Uh, and don't forget, wherever you are in the world, don't forget to send Again, thanks to everyone for tuning in and watching the channel. Don't forget you can click on last week's episode over here, probably over here the week before. Subscribe to the channel. i got to go get ready for the Legend to Land Slim race. Give us a thumbs up, like if you like this.